of 30 overs available in this final session of play here at the MCG on the fourth day. And that was brilliant stuff from the Australians. It looked at one stage as though they would set something like 240, perhaps 250, and now it is much more than that and problems for South Africa. Now that's what the Australians did, 257, doesn't look many, but I promise you it's been uh, an enthralling day's cricket. The ball has done some extraordinary things off that pitch. The batsmen have fought their way through, Taylor 59, a super innings, and Ponting 32, and then Paul Rifle, unbeaten on 79, and the... And a catch. A good change of pace there from Sean Pollock. He's a very determined cricketer, and he knows how important that breakthrough is for his team. That was beautifully bowled. Ponting picked it just at the last fraction of a second, and it was too late. Bump ball, I would think. Has he given it? Well, yes, he has. It was a funny sort of appeal. We know that Taylor hit the ground. You can see the dust come up as he plays the stroke. We assume that it's uh, gone off the edge as well. It's uh, pitched in the footmarks there. Oh, it's uh, just the turn. So uh, Taylor hasn't hit it. It was just the spin out of the footmarks. On him again. Played on. Twice in the one match for Ian Healy. The sloping bat. The ball landing down at his feet and then going back onto the stumps. Now, this is the breakthrough South Africa wanted. Two in uh, just a few balls. Ah! First and now Healy. Good captaincy by Hansi Cronier. He realises that uh, Donnell has had some success against Healy. Oh, well done. Low and hard, and Simcox has grabbed it. Uh, that's broken this dangerous stand. Donald has the wicket. Five wickets for Alan Donald, and a very good, sharp catch there. It was an authentic stroke from Warren. It wasn't just an edge. And eight for 146. Warren, that's his, uh, probably his favourite shot. He's already got two boundaries in that area. Well taken by Pat Simcox. He catch that, what a catch. That's brilliantly caught. Gary Kirsten dive forward with his right hand and took a gem. Lofted by Mike Casper Bits, and that's a great catch. Just what was needed from the South African point of view, and six wickets for Donald. Yes, this is a cracker. Straight off the uh, full face of the bat, Gary Kirsten had to make ground to his right and then come forward. Well taken. Ryan McMillan once again making it look very easy in the slips. Sean Pollock uh, has got the wicket. I think there was a bit of uh, frustration came out in that uh, appeal. Eight hours of time to take the ten wickets and now they've got it. They certainly have a little bit of extra bounce there. Matches in the last 12 months. 257 the Australians. The bowling figures for the South Africans. Donald, six for 59 from 27 overs and eight maidens to make him the leading wicket taker ever for South Africa in test matches. Sean is on track for victory in the first test against South Africa at the MCG. The Aussies made 257 in their second innings with Paul Rifle scoring a career best 79 not out. Set a massive 381 runs to win. South Africa got off to a bad start when Rifle chipped in for his 100th test wicket. A short time ago, the visitors were one for 61. Since 50 almost certainly putting the game out of the Proteus reach and confirming his status as a genuine all-rounder. There it is, that's a great 50. Kasperwitz became Donald's sixth victim. Move into double figures, but he got no further. Donald getting revenge and equaling Huey Tatefield's dismissal record for South Africa. And Simcox has grabbed it. But the tail wagged. Rifle delighting the MCG crowd with some sensible hitting. That's a great 50. Donald claimed Kasparovic and the record by ending a 62-run oh, partnership. Kirsten taking a great that's diving catch. Caught. Gary Kirsten dived forward with his right hand and took a gem. 
Rifle went on to his highest test score. An unbeaten 78, the South Africans then leading 381 to win. The innings began dramatically. Barker declared out and then given a reprieve when Ponting grasped a chance close in. Rifle's big day continued, cleaning up Kirsten for a duck. Barker and Callis then hung in, but plenty of work ahead of the South Africans tomorrow. Well, that's what Peter Dandy, 7, nightly news.